Hi family, it's the Mobile Home Diva and welcome to part two of the series Spring Clean With Me. This series is hosted by Diva Designing on a Dime with Kimberly Davis and I'm so excited to be taking part in this wonderful series. You see, I have some company coming this weekend and it was just perfect to get my house in order. So in today's series, I'm gonna be sharing with you how I turn this into this. The rules of this collab were really simple. You just had to showcase the area that you were spring cleaning as well as the products you use um, and what you did to spring clean your home. We've already done the entryway and uh, part two is your living room area. So family, and don't forget, make sure that if you're not already subscribed to my channel, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you're the first to know every time I upload a video. Now I'm gonna link Diva Designing on a Dime with Kimberly Davis channel and the playlist to this series in the description box below. Make sure that you go over to those ladies' channels, support their channels, subscribe. You'll like what you see. So stay tuned. So family, the first order of business is to clear everything out that wasn't necessary to stay there. I wanted to move um, that huge coffee table out of the way so that I would have a clear path. Just like with the entryway, I am going to be doing some carpet shampooing um, and I'm going to shampoo not only the outer perimeter where the regular uh, carpet is but also that area rug there's some few areas where um, I know that it needs to be clean for the most part it looks really good but it also didn't look as light and as bright as the new area rug that I got for the entryway so here I am uh, vacuuming the carpet i move it over just a touch because i can see where it's kind of bunched up right under the couch and i want i don't want that bunch to stay in the carpet i want it to be spread out and you never know when you're going to change your furniture around or what have you and you just like for it to look neat next order of business is to shampoo the carpet i went over it very thoroughly and then i went back over it and rinsed um and I think it did a really great job. So here's what the carpet looked like after I shampooed it. It looked nice and clean. I'm really satisfied with it. And I'm gonna let it sit for 24 hours so that um, it can dry thoroughly. This is day two of the process um, and the carpet dried really well. The next morning I took the shears and the curtains down and gave them a wash, not only in the living room, but in the dining room as well. And in the kitchen, I wanted to make sure that they all were nice and clean. Um, and so here I am putting them back up. Um, it was really easy to take them down uh, as well as putting them back up and I could tell that they were nice and clean. They just made the room look so much brighter.
Day two was a wash day for more than just the curtains, so that filled the entire day. Here we are at day three, the final day. I pull out um, all sections of the couch, clean from under them. I washed the windows on the inside of the home as well as cleaned out the window seals. And then I'm going to vacuum uh, the areas where the carpet sits. Next order of business after cleaning under the couch is to get um, the couch nice and clean. So I vacuum each area of the um, couch. I really don't care about the lines that are in them. I just want it to be clean. So I took my time and I went, I covered the entire couch, vacuuming that before putting the pillows back. This has been a three day process, but I'm really starting to see how the living room is taking shape. I put the pillows back and I start bringing back in the furniture and decor. Um, that uh, coffee table is really big, but I'm able to move it over by myself. Be careful to dust um, the end tables, the coffee table, and all the decor that goes back. If your house is like mine, stuff always ends up on the coffee table, especially in that bowl that I have there for the remote controls. 
So I'm just going to get rid of all that stuff. Um, some of it doesn't even have a purpose. It just, things just normally end up there. There's some things that have been sitting on the coffee table for a while that just have to go. So I get rid of all of those items and I clean everything and dust everything off. After three days of cleaning, you guys, this is what we have. I think the room smells amazing. I use Fabuloso to clean everything off. Um, I think that the carpet looks good. It looks clean. It feels clean. And I am truly, truly satisfied with it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you are inspired by all that I've done to prepare this room. And I want you to have an absolutely amazing time spring cleaning your own home. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Diva Designing on a Dime with Kimberly Davis for even opening this collab up to us all. It looks really good, you guys. I couldn't be more pleased. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next series.